Today, we are going to show you how to assemble the chamber. This is the silencer, which was installed inside the chamber. This is the plastic tubes, which was used for connecting. The chamber body and oxygen concentrator. Take the chamber body out and remove the protective film. You can see that the values and connectors are ready on the chamber. What you need to do is to screw the values e connectors up. This is the foam holding base. The function of the base is to avoid chamber body moving. Just put the chamber body on the top of the base. We'll show it to you soon. Let's plug in the plastic tubes. The tube diameter is different and you can judge it easily. The bigger tube is air tube. The smaller one is oxygen tube. Then we connect the tube with the concentrator. This concentrator is what we used for testing. What you received would be complete and new concentrator. The concentrator connector quantity based on your order. You can change the position of the values or replace the values. Now we will show you how to install the inside panel. Our concentrator would match with the inside chamber panel. You can choose to install the inside panel or not. If you don't need the panel, just use stoppers on the chamber. If you want the panel, remove the stopper and put the cable through the holes as showing. Screw the connector tightly. Then we connect the inside control panel as showing. Please noted you should screw to parts tightly or the screen may be shinning. Turn on the concentrator. You can see Dr. Hugo boot interface. The panel parameter is the same as outside concentrator.
This is the outside oxygen concentrator. Our concentrator is the combination of air compressor and oxygen concentrator. You can adjust the inside chamber pressure and therapy time. The pressure chart shows if the pressure goes up or down. The maintenance interface shows how many hours was used. After using 1000 hours, it would remind you of replacing the filter. We choose faster pressurization mode to inflate the chamber. You also can choose standard pressurization mode, but the speed is slower. Usually the inflation needs about 10 to 15 minutes. Choosing fast pressurization mode is about 10 minutes. Choosing standard pressurization mode is about 15 minutes. If the patient is weak and afraid of being unable to withstand the high pressure, we suggest that you can choose standard pressurization. Then the human body can adapt to the pressure gradually, or the patient may feel uncomfortable. If you never experienced the oxygen therapy before, starting from 1.1 ATA would be better. Everyone is different. Please ask your doctor before starting oxygen therapy. After inflation pressure increase, choose pure oxygen mode. Remember to set up the therapy time together. We suggest that the therapy time needs 30 to 60 minutes at least. We'll match with the hangers, then you can hang the panels. There have the bags for putting cell phones or anything. The stopper function is to avoid the air leaking. The manual values allow inside and outside persons to handle. If you don't want to wait for the machine pressure reduction, which is about 10 to 15 minutes, or you have emergency situations and want to go out quickly, you can screw the manual value to release the pressure faster. But please remember to screw the value slowly. Now let's teach you how to install the silencer. Screw the connector then plug in the tubes with silencer. The silencer function is to eliminate the sound of airflow inside. This is the connector for connecting the oxygen mask. If you want to inhale high purity oxygen, you can wear oxygen masks inside the chamber. 
The oxygen mask would connect with this connector, so please be sure this hole would connect the oxygen tube. Let's show you how to use the base. If you want to stop the therapy, click Pressure Reduction Mode. 